A bill that would require school boards to notify parents of their responsibility to safely store their firearms is making its way through the General Assembly, passing in the state Senate this week. 8 News reporter Victoria Lucas has the details for us after speaking with both sides about this. Senator Ursula Pekarski introduced the bill, Senate Bill 225, and she says the proposed legislation isn't meant to restrict or prevent a family's ability to defend themselves through lawful gun ownership, but to empower parents with the knowledge they need to safely store their firearms. There are differing opinions on the matter. It's information. It's being you know spread out to parents that maybe may not know about how to store things safely or give them a sense of peace of mind that it's being given out to other parents. A Richmond mother of two, Jenna Lovelace, supports Senate Bill 225 if signed into law. The proposed bill would require school boards across the Commonwealth to develop and implement a policy of notifying parents yearly of their legal responsibility to safely store any firearm present in the household. Two, three. Lovelace says she doesn't have a firearm at her house, but feels safe when sending her children to their fathers, who does have one in his home, for this reason. I feel a sense of security knowing that it's locked up, it's put away, it's safe. One might ask why the notification should be the responsibility of the school board. A Democratic Senator Stella Pekarski, one of the patrons of the bill, tells us, quote, there is no one way to share information about gun storage with parents, and we have a collective responsibility to keep our children safe. If you want to reach as many parents as possible that have even preschoolers or younger siblings, older kids, any age group, that's probably the most efficient way to do it. A Philip Van Cleve, president of the Virginia Citizens Defense League, says there are some portions of the bill that he believes steps out of the enforcement of the law. We objected on the principle that this is government advocating for a position on guns and one that we would view as anti-constitutional. The bill passed in the Senate with a majority vote and now heads to the State House. Senator Pekarski adds it's important that parents are in the know of their responsibility to safely store their firearms and keep them out of reach to their children in the wake of two tragedies, the killing of four students in Oakland County, Michigan back in 2021 and most recently in Newport News, a six year old shooting his first grade teacher back in January of 2023 in the Digital Center, Victoria Lucas, 8 News.